All right, check this out. So I just barely finished this project I've been working on. It took me about a week to finish, but it's this grill. So it's the mesh grill, gives it kind of the Raptor style look, and then wired them up to the side marker lights. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today. First thing you have to do is take the grill off. If you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. You've got a screw here, a screw here, and then just two pop-up tabs on the corners. Pop those up and the grill just pulls straight up. Now, if you guys notice, I do have an extra grill. The reason that I have the extra grill is because I bought it just in case I messed up. There's a lot of custom work that goes into this type of grill, but lucky for you, I did it myself first, so you don't have to buy the extra grill. You can just watch how I did it first, and if you want this type of grill, you can do it. Now that we've got the grill off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this flush cut saw, and we're gonna go around the edge and cut all these little tabs, and then we're gonna cut this section out as well. And that's what's gonna make room for that grill. So cutting out the bigger middle sections, we found it was a lot easier to cut from the back side. So we just took the saw and we made a cut here and then we made a cut down this way and then we flipped it over and it was a lot easier to get that saw in and make that cut all the way through. made your cuts, the middle section will just pull out. Make sure you leave yourself plenty of room around this edge because you're gonna have to sand this down. And the last thing you wanna do is cut too far into this side right here and have to patch in more of that. The end goal is to cut these sections out right here and have the, the grill mounted flush with this section. That way we don't have to add any extra in, but we, don't, we didn't wanna cut off too much too soon. So we're gonna make this first cut and then we're gonna take the grill right here, lay it in, and we're gonna see how that fits and see if we can take off more. So to make this cut along the edge, we're gonna use this Dremel and we're gonna just go along the edge of the blue tape right here. We'll see where that gets us. So we started with a Dremel tool, but we found it was a lot easier and a lot faster using this saw to cut through the sections that we could. The areas that we had to be careful with were areas like this, and then these square areas up here where they had the brackets. So what we did is we used the Dremel to kind of cut the more delicate areas. And then once we got past those, we used the saw and we would just cut along the line and it went a lot faster. So we finished the first cut, we put the grill in to see how it sized up and we found that we were gonna have room to make one additional cut to mount it a little bit more shallow, hopefully allowing us to just bypass having to add in any extra plastic on here. So we're gonna make one more cut all around this edge where this black tape is. And this is just black electrical tape and that's about as short as we're gonna be able to get it. And then hopefully that will just mount in perfectly and we won't have to add in any extra plastic to fill these gaps. Now that we have our final cut done along the edge, we need to take some sandpaper and smooth this out. And then once this is all smoothed, both on the back side where we cut and along the edge here, we're gonna sand that down a little bit and then we'll paint that black. So we've sanded it all down and now we're gonna paint it. So we've got the triangles covered up. Some of the chrome I was able to get off, some I wasn't. So we're hoping that the primer will just kind of cover that up. Uh, and what we're gonna do is put a couple coats of primer on, sand it back down, do one more layer of primer, and then we'll start painting. So we did two coats of primer and we sanded this down. We're gonna do a third coat of primer. If your chrome isn't bubbling, there's not any need for you guys to sit here and, and try to peel it off. The reason that I took some of this chrome off on mine was just because it was bubbling and peeling. Otherwise, just go straight to a sandpaper to rough that chrome up and then you can prime it. So now what we're gonna do is do one more layer of primer, let that dry, and then we'll do a fine sand and start painting. This is with one layer of the white on it. We're gonna do the white all around the chrome and then we'll do the inside. We'll tape off that outer edge. We'll do the inside with the black. Probably do about three or four coats of the white and see how that looks. Okay, this is after the fourth coat of white. I think that's gonna be our final coat of white. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then tomorrow I'll tape off along this edge here and I'll do the inside black. 
and then we'll glue that grill in. Now that we have the white done, we're gonna do this inside lip black. So what I've done is I've, I've taped all along this edge and everything behind it and around it that I wanna keep white is gonna stay white. And then we're just gonna do this inside lip black. This is what our grill's looking like after four coats of white and four coats of black along the inside lip. I'd say for a couple cans of spray paint, it looks pretty good. To get the mesh onto the back, I'm gonna use an epoxy. I'm gonna do this in a couple different pieces. I'm gonna start here and go all along this bottom edge first and then work my way around. That way I can make sure each piece is solid as I go. So I'm using zip ties with just a little bit of paper towel underneath. That way it doesn't scratch up the painted surface and it keeps it in place as well. So everything is pretty much glued in. I got the sides glued in here, all along the, this bottom edge, the side here as well. Any of this white looking epoxy, I just mixed in some baking soda. Baking soda helped it set up a little bit more, but I did find that it made it a little bit more brittle, so I stopped using it. And then up here at the top, you've got these tabs, and I just screwed those into this back plastic piece, and that basically is gonna hold it down, and I'm just gonna run another line of epoxy up across the top, and down these corner pieces. Just because there's gonna be a lot of wind pushing against this grill, and I don't want it to come off at any point. Now that we have that grill all glued onto the backside, it's time to replace the lettering. So what I've done is I've ran a line of tape across the top just to give me an idea of where it's level. And then what I'm doing is I'm just gonna place tape in between each one of the letters and do them one at a time. I'm gonna be using some double-sided VHB tape. It's basically just 3M's outdoor tape, and that should keep them on there just fine. Once you have the lettering installed, all you have to do is just put the grill back in the same way you took it out. And then if you want to install the amber LEDs like I have on the front here, I'm gonna put those in a separate video. That'll be up in, in the next couple days. And I'll show you guys how I wired those up to the side marker lights. If you found the video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys around. Yeah.